Okay, you can see how it's completely still, not spinning. Okay, so what happens when I bring the magnet near the mouse? Let's see. So notice I'm not touching him at all. This is a super strong giant neodymium magnet with over a thousand pound pull force. <laughs> see how it's moving away from the magnet? So what this is showing here <laughs> is that animals are diamagnetic, meaning they repel a magnet. But the weird thing is, is it's not just these mice that are diamagnetic. In fact, every material in the world is diamagnetic. Even this wood here. So everything repels a magnet, but some things attract a magnet as well. And so we call that magnetic or ferromagnetic. If you put salty water in a strong magnetic field and run a current between two electrodes, the water will flow at right angles to the direction of the electric current. This is called a magnetohydrodynamic drive. Whoa, look how fast it's flowing. So there's absolutely no moving parts here and the water's just flowing as if there's a pump pushing it, but there's no pump whatsoever. So although we are getting the water to move, it's not moving the water very efficiently. You can see that a lot of energy is lost into making these bubbles on the electrodes. Now these are actually bubbles of hydrogen and oxygen forming here. And actually because we have a chloride ion in the water, it's actually making chlorine gas as well. I can even make a portable version of this and flow it in my bathtub. So you could actually make submarines that are powered this way that are completely silent. If you glue a magnet to a Dremel with the poles pointed in this direction, you can actually get a magnet to lock in place in midair. It lifted up, look. It's locked in place. Let's see if I can turn it sideways. No way. From far away, the attractive force dominates, but as it gets really close, the repulsive force starts to dominate. And so they balance each other out at some stable equilibrium point that locks the magnet in place. Now you can show this effect in a much more precise way by using a rotating drum that has magnets in it. These videos are from a man named Hamdi Yukar. He basically has devoted the last five years of his life in studying this effect. What's really interesting about this is it's not very well known in literature. And he wrote a really good research paper documenting his entire research in the field and mathematically proving how the effect works showing the different frequencies that you need. And to my knowledge, it's the only paper that I know of that describes this. Did you know any bill printed in the United States actually uses magnetic ink? They do this so they can use magnetic detectors to see if it's actually counterfeit or not. But if you have a super strong magnet, that means that you can actually attract the bill to the magnet. See how it's attracted to the magnet? And that's because in the ink they use to print the bills, there's a little tiny bit of iron in it. And normally you don't notice because you don't have magnets this strong around it. But when you get a very strong magnet around something that has a little tiny bit of iron in it or something that's ferromagnetic, you can get to see the effect very clearly.